Animals in the wild must eat food to survive. Some animals, like elk, eat plants. Other animals, like this red wolf, eat animals. Any animal who hunts another animal for food is called a predator. A bobcat is a predator because it hunts rabbits. A bullfrog that eats mice is a predator. A red-tailed hawk is also a predator because it hunts rodents, including squirrels. It's easy to feel sorry for the animal being chased. That animal is called the prey animal. A prey animal is any animal, big or small, with fins or feathers, who must avoid being eaten by another animal. Sounds tough, huh? Not easy being a predator either. Did you know that a predator may hunt nine or ten times before it catches any prey? Pizza! Here you go, pizza! Yay! Can you imagine if you ordered a pizza and nine times in a row the box was empty? Nine times in a row, you didn't get any dinner. Oh. That's what it's like for predators. A predator can go hungry for days, never knowing when is the next meal. The reason it's so hard for predators to catch food is because prey animals have adapted in many ways to protect themselves. No wonder it's so hard for predators. Prey animals have lots of tricks up their sleeves. For example, elk hide their calves from predators using camouflage. See how this calf is spotted brown and white? The colors match the colors of surrounding shrubs and grasses. Can you see the calf now? Neither can a predator after the mother elk hides her calf in the bushes. These bighorn sheep use protective coloring. Their pale color makes the sheep difficult to see in the bright desert surroundings. Test yourself. How many sheep do you see in this picture? Even as the camera closes in, until they move, the bighorns are almost impossible to see. Other prey animals, like porcupines, have clever defenses. If you have ever been stuck with a porcupine quill, you know it hurts. Predators don't like to be stuck either. Here's another clever defense. This prey animal, the toad, just tastes terrible. Yuck. Who would want to eat a toad? Many large prey animals, like antelope, deer, and elk, rely on speed to outrun predators. They also have excellent hearing to help them detect an attack. And here's one more adaptation that helps many prey animals. See how the eyes on this elk are positioned wide apart on the sides of its head? That gives the elk a wide range of vision to help spot an approaching predator. But prey animals aren't the only ones with special tricks. Predators have some pretty sneaky ways of getting what they want. Most predators have binocular vision. That means their eyes are set close together so they can look straight ahead and see over great distances. Binocular vision helps predators like this wolf spot its prey. Some predators use explosive bursts of speed to chase their victims so they can run, swim, or fly much faster than their prey. Other predators, like this coyote, wait quietly and then suddenly ambush an unsuspecting animal. Some predators hunt in packs. This way, they can kill prey bigger than themselves. Wolves are a good example of this. The hunters of the pack are usually the strongest and fittest wolves. The older wolves and the young pups are left behind to protect the home while the others are out hunting. But when the prey is caught, the hunters bring it back and all the wolves share in the feast. It's kind of like when your mom comes home from the grocery store. All right, cookies! But back to predators. Here's a predator that will scare most anyone, a snake. This white-lipped python uses its entire body to kill prey. The python wraps itself tightly around the rat and squeezes until the rat is dead. Then the snake goes about the slow process of swallowing its dinner. 
At this point, we've seen some of the more obvious predators out there. The predators are everywhere. Some of them in places you might never suspect. Did you know that many birds are also predators? That's because they too eat other animals. Check out this blue heron. He's eating a rainbow trout. Are his eyes bigger than his stomach or what? Some birds that eat other animals are also called birds of prey. A bald eagle is a bird of prey, so is a red-tailed hawk. Both birds rely on their excellent eyesight to spot prey far below. They can even see through the surface of water to target unsuspecting fish. See this shiny web? It's just a fancy trap made by another, less obvious predator, a spider. This spider is called an orb weaver. Orb weavers have terrible eyesight, but they locate prey by feeling the vibration of the captured insect in the threads of their webs. Watch as a grasshopper jumps into the lower left side of the web. The spider is there in an instant. She begins to rapidly spin her prey with her front legs, while her fourth set of legs wraps it in a silken sheet. Predators and prey are everywhere, even underwater. Did you know many kinds of fish are predators? These darter fish are cute, huh? Not to these little snails. These fish live by quickly darting in and snarfing up the slow snails. Just because an animal is a predator doesn't mean it's not prey. As a matter of fact, many animals who are predators are also prey. Remember the spider? Spiders eat bugs, right? That makes a spider a predator. But this frog eats spider, so that makes the spider prey and the frog a predator. But this snake eats frogs, so that makes the frog prey and the snake a predator. But this owl eats snakes, so that makes the snake prey and the owl a predator. Whew. So you can see, just because an animal is a predator doesn't mean the coast is clear. All in all, predators are pretty clever creatures. And prey animals are awfully smart too. And even though predators chase prey, and prey are always trying to trick predators, the two are not what you'd call enemies. It's more like they are each trying to outsmart the other while living out their specific roles in nature. In fact, predators and prey depend on each other in ways you might never expect. For example, when a population of prey animals suffers, the predator of that animal will suffer too. Did you know every 10 years, the population of jackrabbits naturally drops off? Bobcats rely on jackrabbits for food. What will the bobcats do? With fewer jackrabbits to eat, many bobcats will starve to death. In this way, the populations of prey animals control the population of predators. Predators also keep ecosystems in balance. Take, for example, these Mexican free-tailed bats. Every night, the bats eat millions of mosquitoes. If something killed off the bats, the population of mosquitoes would boom and infest large areas, possibly spreading terrible diseases like malaria. If birds of prey suddenly disappeared, rodents and mice could rapidly reproduce, eating all the available grasses, even ruining farm crops, and the list goes on. So the next time you see a predator in the wild, don't think it's mean just because it eats other animals. Predators are just doing what nature intended. Oh, it might help to remember. You're a predator too.